is this piece of shit. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I know who's not having a wonderful day, and that is the fans of Lara Croft or people that, in general, are keenly aware of kind of the slow erosion of the things that we used to love as kids and all being updated and uh, under and um, reimagined for the modern era. And Lara Croft has slowly been transitioning into a butch male character ever since modern AAA video games have got their hands on her. But now it seems that they've finally gone too far and the fandom for uh, Lara Croft is pushing back at perhaps one of the single dumbest changes yet. By the way, this has been happening slowly over time, eroding Lara Croft, who, by the way, is a Tomb Raider, hence the name of the game, uh, into, you know, they've shrunk her chest. They made her care about global warming, apparently now. All this insane stuff uh, and have completely removed the fun and the um, the original reason that people love the character. They would just get rid of her, but it's a female, strong female character, so if they stop making games for Lara Croft, people will continue to point out that Lara Croft exists, so they have to keep making the games. This tweet from Melanie Mack, we're gonna check this out. It's just absolute, the backlash has been hilarious. Us classic fans have seen the writing on the wall for a while. The developers have been outright telling us for years, and some people still want to uh, be delusional about it. Crystal Dynamics Laura Croft is not Laura Croft. She's the same woke she's some woke truth seeker, not a tomb raider. Look at so here's about to, uh some of what they've said, okay? What is what then is raiding and how does it mirror colonial practices? Raiding is depicted as the original tomb raider games and stories involving going to ancient tombs and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. Yeah, that's kind of the point, right? It operates on the assumption of finders keepers that grants raiders with the means and drive to claim ownership of artifacts regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim on the treasure. Let's just it's a fictional video game, but gosh darn it, we've got to make we've got to make it about social justice. Later, games released in the franchise have started the work of addressing this by having Lara Croft acknowledge her past mistakes and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes into contact with. She's also worked to reform raider culture and raise awareness in her peers. Nobody cares about this. This is happening in a fictional, non-canonical storyline that nobody who actually likes the games gives a damn about. Lara no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts. As a raider, she prioritizes seeking out the truth yeah, because truth pays the bills. Much of this game is inspired by her humanity, struggle with heroism, and her tenacity. We believe that all three aspects are an important component in creating the game that cele celebrates history and culture while acknowledging, edging the respect and work required to live in a world wounded by colonialism. What's wrong with colonialism? In the game, we seek to continue that and work alongside Crystal Dynamics by creating a sandbox for you to tell stories that address colonialist themes in play and create your own stories of respect and support for the people and cultures your seekers encounter. Who the hell would ever want to play this game? I would rather I, I, I would rather get teeth pulled without anesthetic than play this game. I would rather shave my beard a, pull it by pulling a single beard at a, a beard hair at a time than play this game. Who the hell is this for? And and of course the people behind it are Red Hat Evil Hat Productions, which you know famously said, "There's no such thing as an apolitical game. This game from Thirsty Sword Lesbian sums up our stance quite nicely." Reminder: If you don't like our politics, don't buy our games. Evil Hat Productions also was happy to profit off the hard work of HP Lovecraft, even because Evil Hat Productions can't create anything, so they used HP Lovecraft's universe, but made sure to virtue signal about how he was an evil man who uh, needed to have, you know, they were fine to profit off of him, 
but they, you know, he was an evil man. You see the critical drinker. So not Laura Croft anymore. Thanks for the heads up. No need to waste another second on this. If you look, this has 3.2 thousand comments to just 300 likes. Who is this for? Who is this for? Tomb Raider series to escape its colonial past. Has anybody who's played this game, have they felt like they're colonizing digital pixels and that they're they're taking culture from people? I thought it was about solving puzzles. British adventurer Laura Croft will transition from being a raider of tombs to the seeker of truth as Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seek to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape a history wounded by colonialism. Raiding, as depicted in the original Tomb Raider series, involves going to ancient tombs, finding these things. We've tried to work on it. In this game, we'll continue to try to work on it. Can you imagine if they actually had a comment section open for this? Could you imagine, just for a minute, if they had a comment section, if, if they had opened this to the comments? I mean, if you look at the tweet announcing it, it's getting absolutely destroyed. This is just a reply, Nina Affinity. Why make Laura Croft Tomb Raider if you don't want her to raid tombs? Oh, I know, because the IP makes money. Let's just cash in F this, 4,000 likes. What's so bad about colonialism? Do people hate civilizations and reading so much that the concept is offensive to them? Savvy artist, may I inquire if this is official language or not? Is this truly an attempt to rebrand an iconic character who in her current state as Tomb Raider was voted in the West as the number one top character? Remember that? There was just a there was just like a, a survey that voted her as the number one, which was insanely incorrect. Not to say that Tomb Raider isn't Lara Croft isn't popular but she's not the most popular video game character in the West. Um, you can see, oh, they'll be transitioning all right. Good, thanks. I thought this was satire at first. Um, colonial past. Oh, the cringe, 6,000 likes. DEI creates another DOA game. Um, will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth. Perfect, just in time for me to transition from a customer who buys games to a boycotter who keeps his money. Progressives ruin everything they touch because they have the lack, the capability to tell a story that's not about their own ideology. Hacktivism at its finest. Sounds like it's ready for its own tomb. I mean, everybody. It's The thing is, like, there was a time in history. There was a time in history when this type of marketing has was profitable. Uh, where you could put out crap like this on Twitter and it would get 10,000, 15,000 likes. And a bunch of woke SJWs would buy your product. The problem is all those people have been out of work since the lockdowns. They don't have any money to buy your $60 games anymore or your $90 or $100 board games. I've seen it out there. I see it in the game stores. These people don't have the same money that they used to to spend. And the people that actually want to support your product are more aware now than ever that you hate them. And that they don't want to give you their money. I mean, just if you look at the quote tweets, I mean, where's all the people saying this is stunning and brave? Literally, Tomb Raider is dead. Technically, her name is Laura Croft Tomb, Tomb Raider. Um, you know, I think I picked the wrong quote tweet there. We'll go here. That's the one I'm looking for. Calling all game on all games by not, I'm sorry, calling all gamers not to buy AAA tiles for the next two years due to this. Play your Steam backlog. You will send a very clear message. I mean, if people did that for six months, you could send a clear message. Even Mudahar said, was this supposed to be an April Fool's post? Melanie Mack, longtime Lara Croft fan, crushing it. Razor Fist. And now you know why they tried to undermine the Tomb Raider remaster with that cringy disclaimer. Can't have a prominent reminder that Tomb Raider was once an unrepentant fun was once unrepentant fun. Is this the colonizer past in question where Lara Croft is fighting a Tyrannosaurus? James Lindsay to hell with the communist fools. Lauren Chen, don't make Lara Croft Tomb Raider game if you don't want her to be Lara Croft Tomb Raider. There's a there's just Absolutely, I mean, <laughs> effing garbage. Ain't no way they're expecting this to succeed. I don't know. In Colonial Pass, the game had dinosaurs in it, 7,000 likes. Even people, like, I don't know where the people are that are supposed to be agreeing with this, but I don't see them. They're, they're not anywhere online. They're not anywhere uh, 
uh, you know, in these comment sections, nobody's quote tweeting this and saying that it's good. People even who are moderate are saying, all right, you've gone too far now. I'm absolutely done. Every time I think Crystal Dynamics can't go any lower, they're always surprised me with even more trash. I mean, they were the ones behind that horrible failure Avengers game. Remember that? I mean, it's it's a colonial past. Uh, this new butch lesbian Laura Croft game is DOA. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And you know, it's sad to see some of our beloved hobbies or or um or pastimes kind of die in this manner, but ultimately they have to. You have the original games, play those, enjoy those, enjoy your memories. Don't let them continue to play on your nostalgia. I mean, I, I went and I got all this Ghostbusters stuff because I let them play me on nostalgia. Now, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, I don't think was a good movie, but at least it wasn't disrespectful. Um, this is far beyond uh, anything that, well, this is 2016 Ghostbusters, I guess. I didn't buy anything from that movie. Big yikes. Uh, I love to see the backlash. You absolutely love to see it.